What's happening guys, Junie's Techie back with another video. Now, recently I've been doing a lot of videos where I'm actually away from my computer and away from my microphone and it tends to be a little bit tricky to be able to record my voice because yes, the camera I'm using is amazing and the microphone isn't exactly the greatest. You still do get a lot of background noise and I haven't really figured out a way to get like a microphone built into the camera. It hasn't really been an option for me. I, I, it's too much time, it's too much hassle. Nine times out of ten, I end up spending a fortune on microphones as I have done in the past. Now, I'm currently using a Fafine uh, microphone that is attached to a boom arm, currently right there. So that is currently recording my voice as we are speaking right now, and then I have to go into the edit and merge them together, etc. I wanted something simple, something I could hook onto my, onto my jumper and just talk directly into it, and I didn't have to worry. So, a company called Savintech got me an email and they were like, listen, we've got these microphones we want you to take a look at. When I first looked at them, I was thinking, a microphone? They sent over this. Now, they sent over one in black and they sent one over in white, and I was thinking, wow, this is going to be a huge microphone, you know, but the box isn't that big. But then when I opened the box and I realized this is what I got, Made me think. Let's just get into it. So yes, guys, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at these microphones today and actually doing some audio tests to see roughly what they sound like. So the voice you'll be hearing right at this moment is directly through the fine microphone that I'm using, which I use on majority of my videos. I was using RS Pro, but now I'm using back to the fine. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what these sound like. So let's get them unboxed and we'll go from there. So here we have the microphone we're going to be taking a look at. And as you can see, this is the Smart Mic Plus, compatible with iPhones and Android. Um, it is best for vlogging, Bluetooth microphone, and also these. So it was awarded the Innovation Awards 2020. This was for headphones, personal audio, and mobile device accessories. Well, that alone tells me that this is going to be an amazing product. So why don't we see what we actually get in the box? And first of all, just look at the size of that. So we're going to go into a little bit more about this, but look at the size of that. That really is tiny. Now, I am holding up massively high hopes for this, but we'll pop that to one side and we'll see what else we get. So we do have a right earpiece going on right there, just a normal basic style. This will go into the top of the microphone to allow you to hear roughly what you sound like and what's going on. You have a micro USB charging cable, very short, but like I said, you don't need these to be extremely long. You have a small wind filter going on there, and we do have another wind filter going on right here. Now, this is a bit larger, and this is definitely going to work in those extreme windy environments. So that is also going to be good if I'm doing a lot more outdoor videos. Now, we also have the Smart Mic Plus S6, S610 manual, and this is pretty much going to give you all the information you need about the microphone. And we also have a quick start guide. Now this is gonna come in handy for especially people that are new to microphones or new to these sort of devices, especially myself. This is definitely something I'm gonna have to be reading. So as you can see, this is a quick start guide and this is gonna tell you everything you need to know about the device, even everything from uh, downloading the app, how to record it. So there it is, how to use it in a phone and a camera and also a PA or sound card or audio device as well. So it gives you every single bit of information you need, even how to set up the app. So you're really gonna have no issues whatsoever with this. So yes, guys, we went through the unboxing experience there and there wasn't really much going on. But what we're gonna do now is I'm actually gonna record the screen and pop it up here. Now the app is extremely easy to use. So let's just jump straight into it. Now, as you can see, we are now recording the screen and the, the app that comes with this is the Smart Mic Plus. So if we go on that and we get this Smart Mic Plus connecting the world with sound. So now if we head over to the settings tab at the back, we can have a look roughly what's going on. So already the resolution that we have here, we can record from 540p all the way up to 4K if your phone does allow it. Uh, we also have the video bit rate. So if you want either a high, medium or economic bit rate, we have the frame size as well. So we can frame from 25 or 30 frames per second. And we also have dual camera modes, so this all depends on your phone, like I say. 
We have grids as well, so if you do want grid lines on there, if that is your preference, you can. And we also have anti-shakes, obviously, if you are recording and you're just holding, say, like a, a boom arm or something like that, you can have anti-shake on there to help you out as well. And then we also have, like, device management. <clears throat> so we can, we can configure little bits about the device management here. So what we need to do from here, though, is I need to connect to the tiny little microphone. So... What you do, little red button on the side there, you just need to hold that down for three seconds, and then you will see a little LED light there start to flash. So from here, all I need to do is head over to my Bluetooth settings, turn that on, and then I'll be able to find the smart mic oh, right there. Give that a click, and it should connect relatively quickly. And there we go. So we are connected for calls, 100% battery, and we are good to go. So I'm going to swap all microphones. I'm going to ditch... I'm going to ditch the phone. I'm going to record from my phone and the microphone. So I will see you in a minute. So guys, here we are. I'm recording on my phone and I'm running exactly through the Smart Mic Plus. And this is what my voice sounds like while I am using the Smart Mic. So like I said, the version I've got is black, but they also sent over. They also sent one in white as well. So I was very happy to see both of them. And I've already tested the audio out a few times to see roughly what it sounded like and I was immediately impressed. The microphones that I've got roughly are between anywhere between 60, 70 pounds and then I've got some that I'm running that are worth nearly 400 pounds and it doesn't really seem worth it. But to have something like this that is Bluetooth microphone, it has its own app, allows me to record in 4K, which is brilliant. Yes, not all devices and phones will allow you to record in 4K, but especially for a vlogger, this app and the microphone is unbelievable. So when it does come to this microphone, you do need to download their app and their software. It won't actually work with a basic camera. It won't work with a basic camera app that you have on your phone. So you do need to download their smart mic app, but that's not an issue. The app does allow you to control all the camera angles, allows you either do selfie mode or back mode and select whether which camera you want to use, whether you've got a wide, ultra wide camera, etc. So it allowed me to do that. You can also change the frames per second uh, and you can also mess around with the resolution depending on what you want. I am currently recording in 4K, but I think I could render it down to I think about 540p, but who really wants to see anything in 540p nowadays? And it's really simple. I can just click it onto my shirt. I don't need to worry about where I'm going. Doesn't matter how far away I get from the camera, I'm still gonna sound the exact same. So for me, this camera really is, really is incredible. I don't need to worry now. So especially some of the videos I've been doing lately, like I did the security video not that long ago. If I had this at the time, the recording quality would have been 10 times better because I wouldn't have had to be messing around with microphones, trying to hook them with my computers, long cables, and it just, it was, it was beyond the joke. But this does allow you to have full maneuverability around your area and your workspace, talking with colleagues or voice recording, and it's just there. I don't need to worry about it. I can't feel the matter of fact that it's actually hooked onto me because it weighs next to nothing. So that as well is also great. But like I said, when we were doing the unboxing, I was showing you roughly what you get. You do also get a wind guard or a little a little guard that goes over and you also get the bigger wind guard which you can use if you are using this outdoors in a, a windy environment so you do get one of those that's what i call a squirrel tail because that's what it kind of looks like so you also get that as well and it's just a nice little touch to have a microphone that is absolutely tiny but very versatile when it comes to the microphone itself on the top here there is a 3.5 millimeter jack now that isn't for a headphone in that's more for a headphone out. So if you have two of these, you can actually use these as a transmitter and a receiver. So when it comes to the headphone here, I can pop this into the top of here and pop it in my ear and see if there's someone at the other side of the room doing a interview or a video blog or anything like that. They're also using one of these as well. You can connect them together. And when I put the earpiece in, I can hear what they are saying. So it's kind of like a monitoring device. If you have to cut in at a certain time and you know when that is from what their last sentence is, as soon as they finish talking, then you can actually start talking straight after. But when it comes to the price line, I have to would say I was really impressed. Now, if you're gonna be someone who's into, you know, filmmaking and all that sort of stuff, this probably isn't gonna be the best idea for you. 
but for the likes of YouTubers, vloggers, and all that kind of stuff, this is actually going to be perfect. It's very versatile, it's very small, and it can go into any place at all. If you are a vlogger or a traveler and you, trend, you tend to struggle with space, this definitely is going to be extremely perfect for you. Very small, brilliant form factor, and you can just click it on wherever you want to go. So the great thing about these as well, if you do have two of them, is that if you don't have a smartphone, for instance, that is very good, but you do have, say, a DSLR camera, these can be used with them cameras as well. When you do buy these products, they do introduce two cables. They do give you a set of cables as well, and these are your TRRS and TRS cables, and this will be allowed this will allow you to inject it into your DSLR mirrorless camera and allow you to use the microphone through that as well as, which is great. So it doesn't just have to be a form factor for your mobile phone, you can also use it with your cameras. It does seem a lot easier to use it with your phone because you know what phones are like these days. You know, I'm currently recording 4K through uh, my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So it is extremely easy. So why not give it a go? So. If this video does help you in any shape or form and you do want to see if you want to check one of these out or check out their website if you head down to the links in the description all the information will be there so you can go check them out for yourself and i do urge you to go give them a go you know boom boom arm microphones really are great like you know like the fine one i have here it really is great but it gets in the way a lot and you know if i can make videos and i can i can organize something over here and still sound the same then why not it really is great I do a lot of unboxing videos and sometimes I tend to go away from a certain angle from where the microphone is and normally I've got to stop, readjust my microphone and then start doing my video again. But if I have something like this, I can turn fully around, you know, go in my drawers, see if I need to find another product and still be able to talk to my viewers. So again, it is all right. But like I said, guys, if you want to go check these out, if you head down the links in the description, all the information will be there so you can go check these out for yourself. And I do urge you, by the way, the white ones look a lot better than the black ones. Just a personal opinion. But as always, guys, if you did enjoy the video or if you do have any questions or comments, drop them down below and I'm more than happy to help you if you do need assistance. And as always, if the video did help, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our further videos. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.